In this video, I'm going to show the best way to paint a feature wall just like this. Stay tuned because it's coming up right now. So this is a lounge that I'm decorating for somebody. I'm painting the walls in almond white. So I'm not touching the feature wall, which is to my right there. But what I am doing is ensuring that the paint I'm putting on the walls is overlapping onto the feature wall. I've also done the same with the ceiling, as you can see. By overlapping the wall colour onto the feature wall, when you do paint the feature wall, it will give you a much sharper finish. I've already rubbed down the wall with a piece of 80 grit sandpaper and here I'm just wiping off any dust. This is the colour I'm using on the feature wall and this is called Midwinter Tide by Dulux. Right then, so let's start cutting in and I'm starting along the skirting and round the plug sockets. I would suggest using a two to three inch brush for the cutting in. Uh, for this particular job, I'm using an angled brush, which makes it nice and easy to get into those corners. Remember, you can perfect your cutting in lines when we apply the second coat. Right, let's get on with the rolling then. And here I'm using a medium pile roller sleeve. This is going to give a really nice flat finish. But this wall isn't the flattest, so you may notice that I'm going over it quite a few times. And also it takes a little while for the roller sleeve to really get primed up with paint. What I would suggest you do from time to time is just back roll along the wall and that will just make sure you flatten out any paint and even cover over any areas of wall that you didn't quite get on the first roll. But again, we're doing a second coat, so we'll definitely get everything covered then. Remember to cover up any lights or fittings just so you don't get any splatter on it. I would suggest using an extension pole. This makes it a whole lot easier rolling walls. Now I am only using a nine inch roller here. If I was doing the whole room, I would use a 12 inch roller, but this is a relatively small area to paint. So we'll get away with a nine inch for this one. Now, as you can see, this is only the first coat, but it really does cover well. I really do like this paint. Okay, cracking on with the second coat. Once again, we'll start with cutting in. And as I've said already, the cutting in and the painting on the second coat is generally a lot quicker, but this also allows you to really straighten those cutting in lines. Do step down onto the floor to check your cutting in because this is where you're going to see it, not from the position you're at when you're painting it. And this really will allow you to get some super crisp, sharp edges. As long as you've got a nice join between the ceiling and the wall. If you haven't, this can be a bit of a problem. So before I started painting this wall, this corner was in a bit of a bad state. So I had to really rub it down. And I also run some cork in there quite fine, uh, just to give me a, a nice edge to work down. This corner was really good and I didn't need to do any filling or preparation here. Here we go, look, getting that second coat on now. And this really does cover over any spots that you've missed. Again, don't forget to do a little bit of back rolling. Keep looking at it because the last thing you want to do is wash up all your brushes and rollers and then realize you've missed a bit. So keep checking it, keep back rolling it and you're on to a winner. All that's left to do in this room now is to paint the skirting. But if your room is already painted and your skirting's already painted, just throw some tape onto the skirting just so you don't get any paint splatter. And then you're good to go. There we go, guys. Check it out. Looking lovely. And the owner was really, really pleased with how it looked. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions or comments, leave those in the comments box down below and I'll see you lot on the next video.